This arrived on Tuesday, today is Thursday. I've had it a couple of days and I got in a bit of a mess, I have to say, when I went to install it. Now, I've bought loads and loads of gear over the years, so I'm fairly au fait with how to do this kind of thing. I got myself in a bit of a mess with setting this up and I blame it really on Akai because it's not terribly clear. I got a bit confused with the In Music Software Center. If I boot that up here, if I show you this and go to My Software, Okay, that was all right. See this MPC3 desktop public beta. Now this is a desktop version of the MPC software. I thought I needed this to work with the hardware version, but of course you don't. It's completely separate and you can actually control this software version using this hardware version, which obviously I'm not going to do anytime soon, but it can be done. That was a bit confusing. I'll show you briefly how that works because it is quite interesting. If I go to the menu, you may be able to see here that there is a little chip icon here. So if I click that, it says enter controller mode. Controller mode allows this MPC to work with software running on your computer. It will disable the standalone MPC functionality. Are you sure you want to enter controller mode? Click controller mode, it takes a little while. You'll see it's looking for the computer. and then you'll find it finds it. Now, once it goes back to that screen, if I go to my desktop now on my computer, you will see I've got these two drives, MPC content, MPC user, okay? And also, if I go back to this MPC software on my computer, you'll see that it's making things happen on there. So if I press play on my hardware MPC, you'll see that the playhead moves on there. So in short, you can do stuff on the software version, but I'm not gonna do that because that's the whole point of having this thing, isn't it? Is to use it standalone. At the time of recording this video, you don't need to download any content from the InMusic Software Center, apart from the MPCE Expression Kits expansion. I reckon by the time you read this, these kits may come pre-installed. The only thing that you need to install are these kits. Everything else is installed and I, I didn't think it was. So I'll show you what I did in a moment. If I go to the in music software, right, so all these said download. So I thought, oh, I've got to download them. So I downloaded all of them. Actually, these are for use with that software version of the MPC on your computer. You don't need to download these at all. I mean, it's handy that I've downloaded them because if I ever want to use the MPC software on my Mac, I'll be able to do that. So that MPC3 desktop public beta or beta, that's that software version. I don't need Ableton Live Lite because I've already got the proper Ableton. And all these plugin instruments I downloaded. So if I go to my hardware, you'll see I've already got an APC Mini Mark II and I've got, as you know, the MPC Live 3. So if you look here, there's a tiny white disclosure triangle. If you click on that, that reveals this standalone version of this. And that's what you need to download. So you download that. I'll go to my downloads and I'll show you that in there. Right, so this is everything I downloaded the other day. I didn't need to download any of this except for this blue folder. Now it's marked up as MPC underscore dash B one P E Q R L underscore X. And I thought, oh no, what's this? But if you click the disclosure triangle, you'll see down here, it's this folder here, the MPCE Expressive Kits. That's the folder you need to put into your hardware. Now, how do you do that? Well, if I go to my desktop and I double click MPC Content, now you can see expansions in here. And this, this is what's on the instrument when you get it. You've got all these expansions. So you think, oh, I'll just add that to that. But that's not what you do. And I found this out from a, a guy on YouTube and I'll give him a name check. I can't remember who he is, but I'll put it up on the screen. You can check him out. He's a really, really good guy. I was really grateful to his video. So you don't use this drive at all. You use the MPC user drive, which is this one. In this one, under MPC documents, there was an expansions folder. I put it in here first of all, and it didn't work. You need an expansions folder at the root, like I've got this one here. See now, if I 
I'll show you that. That's where the MPCE expressive kits are, and they work fine in here. I can find them. If I click on this, you'll see these are all the kits. Don't take these out of this folder. It's this folder you've got to push in. Okay, so just to be clear, in the downloads there, under in music, you don't need to put this folder in, that one with the weird name. It's this one here, the MPCE Expressive Kits. That's what goes in this MPC user drive. You've got to create this folder and you've got to call it exactly this, expansions, in the root of the, uh, the drive and that everything works fine. So it is a bit of a rigmarole, I have to say. You can't use the hardware at the moment because it's all hooked up to the computer. But before you come out of this, you've got to go back to your desktop and make sure you very carefully eject these two drives because if you don't, you could mess things up. So they are highlighted. I'm going to eject them. And when they go out, both gone. Now, if I go back to menu, Look at the top right hand now. It's no longer a chip, it's a computer because it's still, as far as this is concerned, hooked up to a computer. You see? So if I click that, switch to standalone mode, please ensure you have safely ejected all storage devices from your MPC hardware before you switch back to standalone mode. Yes, I've done that. So if you've done something in that software on your computer, on the software version of the MPC, it won't make any difference switching back to this. So down here it says standalone or cancel. I'll click standalone and now it will take me back. It takes a little while to have a think about it. And we're back. That took a worrying amount of time. One thing to also warn you about, if you've got any yurt rock stuff, I this morning nearly had a fit because I went into my drive here. I've got all these yurt rock samples. And in amongst them, I had an MPC set of samples. Uh, they're here, MPC expansion. And I thought, great. And I could see this here. This is an MPC kind of looking file. So I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll put those on my hardware. Drop them into that folder and it froze it didn't like it at all this thing started in all manner of crazy things so don't use well unless you know what you're doing and i certainly obviously didn't don't use those mpc expansions from yurt rock okay watch out for that so yeah it wasn't very clear i have to say basically you don't have to do anything when you get it it's already apart from and i'll show you in this yellow browser folder if we go to expansions down here you'll see it's in here now all these drum kits they're not there by default i didn't even see this icon so you have to download that and install it other than that everything's there now you can see these instruments here you think oh great i've got all these instruments and you have got most of them if i click on mini d please purchase this plugin or activate a trial license so you haven't got that one and there's another one here called jura which is a uh, juno 106 Click on that, same thing. Most of these you've got, that's not a problem, but those two definitely you haven't got. You've got a trial of them, which I think you get seven days. And this Jura is expensive. At the moment, it's £149. I think it was £79 a couple of years ago. So they've really cranked the price up of that. The Mini D is around £70. One that I am going to get, which is not on here, is the Native Instruments analog dreams now i've got all the native instruments plugins but i think you have to rebuy it so it works in this machine if i'm wrong please let me know and i will look into that but that one the analog dreams by native instruments is only 25 pounds thank goodness so it's not sort of too bad 